Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Techno Education Academy. In this video lecture, uh, we will discuss steam separator. The steam available from the boiler may be either wet, dry or superheated steam. We have already discussed, okay, there are uh, various types of steam, okay, wet steam, dry steam and superheated steam. And superheated steam, uh, it behaves like a gas. Okay, there is no any moisture content in superheated steam or we can say the total evaporation of the steam is completed. Okay, so it is in gas form. But in many cases, there will be a loss of heat from uh, it during it uh, passes through the steam pipe from the boiler to the turbine or engine tending to produce wetness in the steam. The use of wet steam in the engine or turbine is uneconomical besides involving some risk as we know that okay the price of the turbine okay uh, it is uh, too much uh, costly okay if the moisture content is more in the steam at that time it will erode and corrode the turbine blades or we can say it will reduce the life of the component so it is uneconomical uh, for us to use the wet steam in the thermal power plant okay so we are using superheated steam Hence, it is uh, usual to endeavor to separate any water particles that may be present from the steam before the latter enter into the engine or turbine. This is accomplished by use of a steam separator. Thus, the function of a steam separator is to remove the entrained water particles from the steam convert to the steam engine or turbine. Now, we will discuss what is the location of steam separator. It is installed as close to the steam engine as possible on the main steam pipe from the boiler. According to the principle of operation, the steam separator are classified as baffle type steam separator or we can say uh, impact type steam separator. Second one is a reverse current type steam separator and third one is centrifugal type steam separator. In this video lecture, uh, we will discuss the working principle of baffle type or impact type steam separator. Here you can see that this is the schematic diagram of the baffle type steam separator. The steam enters the flange A and flows down. Okay, this, this is the path of the steam. It will enter from the flange A and it is it will flow down. In its passage, it is strike the baffle B. As a result, it gets deflected okay here you can see that the steam whenever it will pass through the flange a okay and it is a flow down then after it will strike with the baffle b and as a result it gets deflected but water particles having greater density okay as we know that the density of the steam okay it will occupy 1600 times volume as compared to water okay so uh, steam particles having light density and water particles having higher density. So, it is due to inertia, it is pulled down, water particles, it is pulled down to the bottom side of the separator. The drier stream discharge through the flange C. Okay, we have already discussed water particles having greater density and greater inertia. So, it is pulled down to the bottom of the steam separator and uh, dry steam it discharges through the flange C. To see the level of water collected a water gauge is provided. Okay, From water gauge uh, here you can see or here we can read the level of the water in the steam separator. The water collected in the vessel is removed at uh, intervals through the drain pipe D. Okay, whenever the sufficient water is collected in the steam separator, then uh, we can remove it from the drain pipe D. So, the working principle of the steam separator is very simple. So, due to the inertia and uh, density difference, okay, water particles and steam both are separated and uh, density of the steam is uh, light as compared to water particles. So, water particles it is pulled down and it is collected in the vessel. So, thank you friends 
for watching this video i hope this content it will be helpful to you if you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends